<laughs> okay, hello and welcome back to another vlog. Today we just did something very exciting. You wanna say hello, Vivi? This. <laughs> what was his name? Oh, Ramon. Ramon. This is Ramon. So basically, today, we got a dog. It, we didn't think we were gonna get a dog today. We've been talking about getting either a dog or a cat for a little while now, but we're kind of like, oh, the place is so small. I don't know, I don't know. But then, we found out, what was it, a few days ago that we asked the vet where you even get like, like if they had animal shelters or where you would get like abandoned animals and she just said to look online. So last night we were just sitting in bed watching like Teen Wolf or something and I was, um, but I was just searching online and I found a Facebook group that was for yeah, like abandoned animals in Uruguay and we found all these pictures and I was like oh my god I want this one or that one and then there was all these cats, these little puppies and then we found this one for this dog who was a year old. And I didn't even realize, but did you message him last night or this morning? He's not, doesn't seem like he's very used to sitting on people. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. But did you message the woman last night or like yeah, today? Yeah, I literally like, I saw her thing and I was just like, Hey, um, is it cool if we like meet up and stuff? We're looking for a dog, we just moved here. Um, he looks cool, like he looks the right size. He's a little bit bigger than I thought. Yeah. I kind of just like saw the f one of the photos and I was like, he looks. Yeah, if he was like 50% smaller, it would have been perfect. But. Um, no, that would have made him teeny tiny. I, lo I like the size. He's gonna be able to like go on jogs with you and like we can. He's, he's a bit. Yeah. Um, and his name at the moment is Ramon, but he doesn't respond to that, so. No. We can pretty much call him whatever we want, but we're not sure. Um, we're going, it's either Ramon, Hamon, or Moshe. We're not calling him Hamon. Hamon is great. It means ham. Yeah, it's funny as well. We're not calling him ham. Can you just imagine running down the beach and screaming ham? Hamon! Hamon! Don't scream so loud, he's, he's, yeah. But, um, he's someone obviously... Just left him there. Well, they, I think they obviously had him, um, at the farm and if the puppies aren't brave enough to go against the cows then they just either kill them or they chuck them in a bag and chuck them in a the river or they just dump them somewhere and then let them find for themselves. Oh well, that's awful. Yeah, so he's got a scab on his left elbow and another one underneath his chin. That was from her dog though, she said. Yeah, that was, no, that wasn't from her dog. Oh, her dog that was, was from her uncle's so obviously the alpha of that farm was like, well, what the fuck are you Who doing Who is this here? new dog? Where did he come from? And um, so they got, he fucked him up, but apparently Ramon didn't do anything. He was just- he's Just a, chill. He's, he's a country dog, so he's very inquisitive. He yeah, wasn't, she said he was, he's not used to the city yet, yeah, so he, we'll have to be very careful. He did not trust the gaping mouth of the apartment building. He was very, very unsure about- Yeah, the second we came through the gate, he was being super wary. Yeah. I didn't film any of that obviously because like it's the front of the building and I'm just not putting that on the internet yeah. But I do have a little bit of footage from when we were at the park So I'll put that in here and on the little walk home Muy sumiso, ¿cómo dicen? ¿Cómo decimos esa palabra? Sí, 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 no, y además es que ve la escoba y hace así, se ve que le pegan. Ok. I guess we just got a dog. I kind of like the name Ramón. Ramón? Oh, sorry, Ramón. <laughs> we already stepped on him, we've had him for five minutes. Oh. But yeah, so that is what happened. Again, we weren't planning on getting one like immediately, but we just sent them the message last night 
and then she responded this morning and pretty much was like oh you want to meet up this afternoon and we were like oh like okay and then speedily this morning just cleaned up the whole house because it was kind of a mess so we're gonna have to keep it way tidier from now on um because otherwise he's just gonna be able to get into all of our stuff if it's on the floor but um yeah we'll he's not looking more. you because he loves you he's looking you because of the salt in your sweat yeah <laughs> so we will um probably do another update either later tonight or tomorrow but yeah just wanted to film this so we can remember the day but we got him and he's also I, I don't know he's it's so he's obviously like a half german shepherd half something, something. else um but yeah. Well, for, maybe the vet will know when we take him to get his yeah. checkup. The nice thing is, is that the fact that like we didn't get him from the street or anything like that, which I thought when she said it was a country dog, a lot of the country dogs are like, when they're in a bigger pack or anything like that, um, their food starved and they just kind of wolf down the food and we put kibbles yeah. and stuff in front of him here and he's fine. Yeah. So well, she obviously because, like... Yeah, he'd been with this other woman for like a little while. Yeah, and she, he'd obviously been living on the farm and stuff. So he... He like doesn't know how to sit or anything, but that's also because we're speaking in a different language. Well, we um, we you said it to him in Spanish though, and yeah. he still didn't sit. No, so but he's also one like I don't mind it because that means we can teach him to sit and do the stuff we want him to do the way we want it instead of like having to retrain him. Yeah. We'll do some updates later. We might take him for a walk. Yeah, we might take you for a walk later, won't we? We'll go for a walk. Up, up, up. <laughs> Es un como el bebé de alguien de un otro como coso. Sí, no, he's a It is Sunday morning now and we are about to go out for a walk. At least one of the pet stores looks like it opens. So we're gonna walk there. It's only like a 15 minute walk, but it is really a gale outside today. So all rugged up, ready to go. It was such a nice day yesterday and our today is just like not so much but he was really good all night just slept but he snored a little bit but he still like hardly made a sound other than that um didn't pee or poo inside so so far so good I just made sure i took him out last night before well we took him out last night before bed and then i took him out first thing in the morning um at like seven but he just kind of stayed quiet until i woke up so it was really easier than we could have ever imagined but mm -hmm. off for a walk so i might film a little bit but I'll have to like mute it because the wind's gonna be. Okay. Okay. The wind will be not um not nice. <laughs> Okay, we are back home now, and as I'm sure you can tell, 
we made it all the way to the pet store and then uh, we were actually going well we got most of the things well, we got everything we needed but while we were in the pet store another dog showed up with his people and then um her people People. I think that's Sorry. why he got extra excited because he was like, "Biggest girl." Yeah, and then so then he peed on something in the store. So I felt a bit bad about that. We and I took him outside while we waited to like. Like the girl was out. lovely. She was great. Oh yeah, she, she was, was just super like, "No, nice don't worry. It. It, it happens all the time. Like, no worries, dude. It's all good." But still, like, no one wants to be like the people who's like dog pees in the store. No. So, <laughs> but hopefully when we get him desex, that will. And plus, like we only just got him, so we're still like getting used to his cues and stuff, but he has a very large bladder. So now we know, but we got him a little jacket. Cause this morning when I took him out, um, like first thing in the morning, it was freezing and it's only gonna get colder from here. So we got him a little jacket and I'm gonna need to get myself some gloves just for those like first thing in the morning. One sec. And <laughs> peace. But so we got him a little jacket. And I keep saying he because we haven't fully decided on his name yet. His name before was Ramon, and I've kind of been calling him that because for a while we were going with Manuel, but then we realized that is it your cousin's kids are called Manuel? There's, there's two separate babies in yeah. the family right now that are named Manuel. Yes, yeah, so there's two babies in the family called Manuel already, like human babies, so it just might not be a good idea to call him Manuel. So now we're back to square one. So we're trying to like not um, be too, what's the word, like too consistent with a name until we like are 100% on it because there's no point teaching him something that's wrong or that we're going to change. Well, he's getting a bed. I was looking at like the kind of ones to the sides that were nice and fluffy, but since he just slept on like a blanket last night and seemed fine with that and was like flattening out on it, we thought maybe just like a big pillow type thing would be better. So that's what we've got now. So hopefully tonight he'll sleep on that. And then we got him with like a bowl thing. So it's like a little stand and it comes with two little bowls. Um, yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, there we go. That's nice. He's like scared. He's not sure. Nice. And we have a brush because one thing we notice is he does shed a lot. He's got like... I guess, it's, is this called short hair? Short hair. No, no, it is short hair. But, it's, um, it's, yeah. but he does, so I don't know if he, he's just shedding because he's like nervous and everything's changing and like, or if this is just like his normal. But um, we also got him a Kong. I'm gonna try and breathe through this little like hole because the battery just started flashing. But these are just the little bowls that come with his stand. Cause last night we'd had like, just him in, we just had some Tupperware bowl, bowls out for him. Um, a little bone because this is the only treat that he seemed actually interested in was it that was, and was, some yeah it was a pig pig is, which i am not really a fan of but you you can't really make a dog vegan so i know we're not gonna try <laughs> i mean some people say you can but like when we're not going to um and then i just got him a little ball and that's pretty much it so we got yeah jacket bed food bowl brush a kong some treats so he should be good to go for a little while. We're gonna yeah, take him to the vet tomorrow and get him one checked up on and two just inquire about like how much it's gonna cost to get him neutered and like um, check his vaccinations are all good and get him registered if that's a thing that we even should do. And we will get him a collar with like a little name tag on it. But again, we need to like the decide on his name before we get it engraved on a little plot. But that might be it for today's video. Um, better to keep it short because I know we talked for like seven minutes yesterday but yeah long story short we got a dog um we took him to the beach on the way home and he did pretty good there was another little dog down there and he was like playing with him but then he kind of got a little aggressive towards the end so we we're like all right bye um and yeah do you have anything else to say uh no that's pretty much it I think he's great well he's yeah we'll keep you updated in the next vlog if we decide on a name um He's definitely a country dog because yeah. he doesn't like he he the, he doesn't feel the leash and the and the stuff like the the sort of strap thing that we put on him, mm -hmm. but he doesn't like know what things are and what things do and how to react to stuff and like he doesn't really know to walk without bumping into people. He kind of does yeah. the same thing. He doesn't like to walk straight. He'll just be like, oh, this way, this way, this way. 
Like the second he sees another dog, he like wants to go and like be friends with him straight away. Hmm? But it's nice to see that he likes his bed. Um, yeah, thanks was, for watching. He was very scared of it. He just looks so happy. Okay, cut out in the battery cut out on us before, but thanks for watching. We're just giving a, a little brush, and then I'm gonna probably go and make some lunch because we've been out all morning and I am hungry again. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. All the links will be down below if you wanna go check out previous vlogs, things like that. Everything you need will be in the description box. Um, bye from us and from no named dog. Come on. Come on, perhaps. Maybe come on. But if you have any cool name suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. But by the time you're seeing this, hopefully we've decided on a name for it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Now this is not in focus at all. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.